Hello and welcome to a new episode of Cosmoteer. In this episode we are going to build our ship up. As you can see I made some quite some changes. Let us move the ship around a little bit. I got two extra shields to protect our front and especially my new iron beam emitters. I got two of them so they should be bringing quite a punch. We've got a lot of new crew members and we've moved the thrusters a little bit around but I'm still not sure on those thrusters or how we're going to do that because they are quite pain in the ass. But we'll see, we'll see and uh, we're going to test this baby out. So let's go to the next solar system that we need to do. It's a professional so that's kind of hard. The distance is quite close by. <clears throat> and let's move out. Alright, so let's see that our ship is being fully operational. Because there's a lot of power being brought and somehow these people aren't moving like I wanted them to move but let's head for the first enemy ship that's already pretty close by and I wonder if I could keep my distance a little bit more no I was expecting the ship to be a little bit more and we would the iron beam so we could take a little bit more distance <coughs> But I guess we could not. We are moving quite slower now because oh, all right. Ooh, man, that's a big one. All right, let's slow this down. Let's take a look at that ship first. Is there anything in particular? It's got electro bolts, and it's going to hit us hard. It's got two side guns. Got no shields does have an FTL drive so we need to be careful that it doesn't jump away and I guess the first thing we are going to do is try and hit this baby as hard as we can do and our shield is having a pretty hard time And we're slowly breathing through this. Oh man. Alright, we've had a lot of damage. And especially because of our power problem. So let's fix this all. And we are going to make a little bit of change to the ship. We are going to move our FTL drive a bit more back. We are going to put the command room to that area and we still got the money left so we can build ourselves a second area for the power I'm going to make it that way so this should keep our shields up and running because the shield failing, the front shield failing was the main problem that our total midsection of the ship got almost got totally destroyed. And that's not good. Alright, let's do it this way and let's head for the second area. Let's speed it up a little bit. As you can see the speed is slowly beginning to give us some problems. But until now we are able to defeat the enemy. Let's pause this game again. It's an Argonaut and this game, this game, this ship got one big gun on the forward. It's it's quite maneuverable because it got a lot of side thrusters. It got all standard thrusters, no small thrusters. I was expecting that to be 
These are the standard. No, there's also small thrusters. So let's focus on their middle part. What's this? A cannon factory? All right, so that's where they make their build it. And I guess we are sledging. Oh my god, it just ripped their ship apart. Damn, I love these new iron cannons. Oh man, there was nothing they could do. There was nothing they could do. And this is the different from good energy. Oh my god, this was amazing. Just because we have these reactor cores here in the frontal area, we've got enough energy. Alright, so I want to do one more little improvement. I want to build a sensor, just because we can. Uh, right, building a sensor here. It's costing us some power, but... I can move some things around like this and that way we can put in another crew cabinet in this area. Alright, so we get our sensors operational and as you can see, oh no, no you can see, we've got a way bigger sensor array. Let's move to the next ships, taking them down. Now let's speed it up a little bit more. I do know we're going to need more thrusters on this area, but I want to protect them a little bit because when you get hit in the back, it's going to hurt like hell. And for now, it's it's not a big problem, but it will be. All right, let's see if we can move. Yeah, we're totally. This is one funny looking ship. And we can just rip down the middle part. As you can see, we are already breaking their ship in two. I wonder how they get in their energy because This one doesn't even have a reactor, so how am I... how is he going to hit me? Oh, look at those screws. They're totally lost. Alright, let's focus on their core reactor. They had it pretty well defended. But there's nothing really they can do. Kinda hard staying in range. One of our iron guns, oh, this, he did do a lot of damage. No, we're not going into depth. Why aren't we moving anywhere closer? Let's move close to this guy. Right, so we got 20k, it costs 10k to repair. Let's go for the last one. Alright, the last ship in this sector and also in this quadrant. Our ship already has a value for almost 200,000 credits, so that's pretty expensive if we get destroyed. Right, he is chickening out. He's thinking, "Hell no, I'm getting out of here." But we already got. Oh, let's take a look at that one because this one looks quite interesting. Only looking at these these 
be, yeah, these ships is already interesting itself. Let's first take down those thrusters on that side. He is turning around. Where are the guns on this thing? Oh, it's got rockets. It's got a rocket launcher. Didn't even see that one. <clears throat> and it's also got... Man, that was one easy kill. Didn't expect that one. And as you can see, we got hit on the back. And that's because of the... Because of the, the rocket, the missile launcher. And I have no protection. Yeah, we could point, put some point defense in, in here. So we could do that. Let's see here. Because we can do some point defense systems in this area. And one in this area. Yeah, I guess it, that would defend our back pretty well. And we got it out of the safe again. All right, thank you. Auto safe booster. Yes, we are going for one big badass engine, and we are going to put some more defense around that one because I don't want it to be destroyed in any type of way. Putting some more armor on ourselves. Alright, this is quite some improvement. So, in the end, I want to build some rockets in this side, uh, but we are going to need to expand a little bit more for that one. And I guess because we are getting a little bit bigger, we are going to need some trusses in the end here. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to put it that way. Yeah, no crew access. I was expecting that. Oh well, for now let's head off to our new space because we cleared the Lumicuildeo section. Man, what a name. What a name. Let's hit that one. Alright. All our crew heading off, and it's ding, so let's fly out. All right, let everything charge up. Our shields are back up. Let's take on this frontal ship first. I'm not quite sure what it is. We've got it in a range. It's a little locust. All right, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. It's got an iron beam emitter. Why isn't my iron beam emitter? Or oh, it's working. And it's already destroyed. And I guess our shields we're holding pretty well. Alright. So that's one ship destroyed. I guess we are going to save up for buying ourselves an extra ship. Because you can do multiple ships and uh, build in ships. And these are starter ships. But we can pick up a wide variety of ships. And I really would love to get the Constellation. Or the crescented web, but it red, but it's it's an expensive one. So I guess we have to start with something cheaper. So leave it in the comment down below if you see a ship you like me to fly. The Phoenix always also quite an impressive ship. The Prinzer is quite cheap. Ragnarok, right? That's always also look cool. The Chargers, the Rocket. Well, we are going to buy one of these, but we need to save up a little bit, so I guess that's going to be for the next episode. But for now, let's fly. All 
All right, let's pause the game. Uh, they only got one little pity gun, so that's going to be easy. Let the iron beam fire. Why isn't the iron beam firing? There it is. And there it is, the iron beam totally destroying the right flank of their ship. It's quite a small ship, so it, it's pretty hard to even be hitting them. They are already working on their next shot. But they need to align this perfectly. I guess they need to keep some kind of distance before they can take a perfect shot. And there it is, the iron beam destroying them. Oh, there's one sneaking on on us behind. Alright, let's take that one down. It's a junker. Yeah, it's really a junker ship. So let's focus on that area. <laughs> Alright, on high speed it does sound kind of strange. Alright, now for the last one. Speed up. And the harder the ships get, the more money you get. So these are all quite easy ships. All right, this is a fun ship already. always to kill this one. But they are hard in, or hard in defense, I would say, but uh, they are quite easy to destroy. So let's let's try and change it up a little bit. Professional, amateur, and professional. I want to do professional. I get more money from this. So let's make it a little bit harder because I want to get ready to build ourselves a rocket factory in here and make our ship even bigger. Right, so we got four ships to take down. All right, this is quite an impressive ship. Do not know if they got a lot of armor, but they're already predicting I'm going to be going that way. But somehow my large iron beams aren't shooting. Right, that's down one. They got some lasers here on the side, so that's kind of annoying. Because our forward shield was almost down and that, that would have hurt a lot, because that's my main focus. And let's see if I can get the ship straightened up. Right, a second iron beam is coming in, and it's hurting. It's hurting a lot for them. a long time for the ship for us to take it down but 
That's it, it's destroyed. Let's go to the second one. Yeah, we already got a lot of money, but we're going to save a little bit more. Ooh, this is a cute looking ship. Red forward gun is totally destroyed, this cute little ship. Oh, that hurt a lot. Right. Let's move on, we are making a lot of money. Ooh, slow down, slow down, slow down, because you never know what's coming in. One heavy iron beam, and I guess that's it. Oh, this one got shields. This one got shields, does it not? Yes, it's, it looks like it. Yes, it's got a shield emitter on this side. And that is hurting a lot. Lucky we got two shields. How can it have such a wide shield when I only see one shield a mirror in this area? It's kind of strange because their shield looks better than my shield. <coughs> All right, let's let's try and hit just the side. Oh my god, my shields are failing, my shields are failing. Let's take a look at our ships again. Alright, let's take down their core. Oh, well, we almost had their core down. We do need to keep an eye on that second ship that's coming in. Ooh, that was their shield, so that was their last line of defense. And the next one is a Spartan. All right, kind of interesting ship because it got the control room in the middle. And they got a lot of guns and shield on the front side, so Man, if we, we had a rocket factory, it would be great. Let's first, we need some repairs. We need 800 of repairs, and I guess I am going to build that rocket. Because we do have some money. That one, we're going to move the door to... Why can't I move the door that way? No, that way. All right, now I'm going to need a rocket factory. Rocket factory, missile factory. Ooh, that missile factory is larger than I anticipated. Mm. Going to put that one there, the flanks. Guns are coming in there. And that way we can move these quarters to this area. All right, so that's going all good. Now for the uh, missile factory. Now, yes, missile factory, there is. Yeah, we are going to put the missile factory on this area. Make a little walking corridor here and maybe even building a storage no we can't build a storage thing down there so it's we just got to do it with what we got and no crew access we can change that uh, 
Uh, let's see, because this is going to be the crew axis. Why? Well, let's first move it in this area. No crew access. <laughs> That's quite strange. Guess we need to do it this way. Yes, we do need to do it that way. Alright, we can do it that way. Somehow I can't move it that way, but I don't mind. It's, it's, it's doing pretty well. Gonna move that one there, move this one, one back. And I guess we're going to move the FTL drive on that side. Uh, maybe we got to do change this also a little bit that way that way I can move the crew quarters on that side move that one that and this is looking pretty well so we are low on crew so let's make ourselves one little bunk extra and let's see how this is going to work. Our main thrusters are still down, so let everything power up. Our main engines are up. Our main missile bays are being loaded. Don't know if this ship's got any... And as you can see, we are launching immediately. And we are going to focus on, they got no, no defense for that, so we are going to focus on this side. And as you can see, the rockets are hitting them on the back, and that's, that's what we've meant to do. Oh my god, that was one hard hit for them. Now take down that second shield. Where is their main reactor core? Let's all focus on the main reactor core because we've got to auto save again. Oh, right. This was better than I expected. Oh man, and we made a lot of money. With only a little bit investment. I need, do need to fix this up in the end, but it's looking pretty good at the moment. All right. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and in the next episode we are going to get ourselves a second ship. We are going to buy one of these cool little ships that's been laying in here. And let's see how the fleet mechanic is going to work in this game. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, push the little bell to get a notification. And leave your comment down below what you think of Cosmeteria because I would really love to hear from you guys. And like to know what you think of this game. So, see y'all in the next episode of Cosmeteer.